Hey everybody. So I'm here rocking, you know, my favorite hairstyle. It looks much more defined today than it did in the last video that I had this. Um, and I'm tell you why. I am a firm believer in finger twisting your hair. And I did a video on that before. And it, it didn't come out exactly the way that um, I wanted it to. Or I don't, I don't even know what I wanted, but just the style that it came out just wasn't working for me. But I decided to do it again because I'm further into my transition and my hair is getting really wild. And that's why I was going to chop it off. I was so like, I'm going to chop it off because I couldn't deal with it. Now I might delay my big chop even further just because I know how to deal with the two, tra um, two textures now. And twisting your hair works. But what you have to do is you sleep on it overnight and the next day you... Um, you kind of unravel your twist so that your curls, you have more curls and um, more um, volume, excuse me. And you do that basically by just fluffing up your roots, you know, and that will give you bigger hair. I love big hair. All right, so I just figured that I would um, do what, you know, things that I live by as far as transitioning and you know, becoming a natural. So I will start with, um, yeah, this this eco style gel. If you're natural or you're, and you're going natural, you, you plan on going natural, just go pick it up because it's just a lifesaver. Even if you have other products that work, this is just a great backup for anything. Eco style gel. One. Um, Two. Now, I don't know if I necessarily live by this, but this has definitely um, helped. This this coconut oil right here, I put it in to detail. It helps with the detangling. It um it adds shine. It's a great hot oil treatment. It just and it smells great. So I, it works for me. Next. I would definitely have to say my diffuser, and if you don't have one, I do suggest that you get one. Um, you know, they're not expensive. If, I don't even know if they sell just you know the attachments or not, but your best bet is going out and getting a whole new um, blow dryer. They're not, you know, I think this was maybe twelve, thirteen dollars. And the thing is, you want to get one that comes with one because most, of, you know, most blow dryers are all different shapes. Like this one's oval. You know, so not any attachment will work for it. And a diffuser basically just helps um, dry your hair quicker, and but without without messing up your curls and without causing frizz. Because what it does is diffuses the air so that it goes all over basically, and you could even put it up like right to your hair, and your hair is not gonna like fly in the other direction. So it helps with uh, keeping the definition of your curls and with volume and all that good stuff. Uh, next, I'll definitely just say a spray bottle because your hair dries out and once it's dry, it's basically stuck in uh, whatever style or not style way that it was. So a spray bottle. And last but definitely not least, a satin pillowcase. I just got mine. My grandmother got it for me actually. And I love it. Oh my god. I, I swear, like, cuts down the frizz by like tenfold. Absolutely love it. And it stops breakage and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, nice little quick video. Um, 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 so yeah, with the twist. And this, I've had, I did a twist out, or that's what I'll call it, my finger twist. I did a twist out on Sunday night. It's Friday morning. And the hair is still looking. Very good. And what I do to just to touch it up, if like some of the curls get frizzy, what I do is I take my little coconut oil, just a tad for each strand, and I'll retwist it. And um, if I need to, I'll, I'll wet it just a little, not too much, because that'll mess it up too. And take some of the gel and twist it around. And because I'm transitioning and these are relaxed, what you do is you take bobby pins, curl it, pin it. Now, if you have time, you could just let it air dry, but if you don't, just hold this right to it and, um, you know, make sure it's completely dry. They'll take the bobby pins out and it will curl. Now, that's that's my hair. A lot of people say they can't get the relaxed ends to curl, but it's all about manipulation. That's what I've learned. Um, 
just got a limb that works for your hair. This works for mine. And if it wasn't for this, my my curls would not be like this. Trust me. My my I have, you know this is relaxed, supposed to be straight hair, and uh, I get it to do this. So that's all. Um, if you have any more uh, questions or anything, definitely hit me up. You know I'll get back to you.